Dividing fractions is as easy as multiplying fractions. It just has one extra step to it. If we want to do one third divided by five sixths, the way we do it is as follows. We keep the one third the same. We flip the five sixths so it becomes six fifths and we change division to multiplication. And then we've just got multiplication to do, which we know how to do well. We do that as normal and we get our answer two fifths. So let's recap that new step. In that new step, we keep the first fraction the same, we flip the second fraction, and then we change division to multiplication. And people quite like to remember this by saying KFC, keep, flip, change. Keep the first fraction, flip the second fraction, and change division to multiplication. And it's as simple as that. So if we have mixed numbers, there's no problem. We just do exactly what we did with multiplication, and we first turn them into um, improper fractions. And then we've got the same process. We keep the first fraction the same, we flip the second fraction, and we change to multiplication, and we get our answer as we always have done. And if we have something um, like this, one third divided by six, no problem at all. You just have to remember, as we did for multiplication, that six is just six over one. And once you've got that, process is the same. You keep the first fraction the same, you flip the second fraction, and you change division to multiplication, and then you multiply as normal. Okay, but there's a little bit of a kind of mystery thing we've done here. I mean, how on earth, why on earth, do you suddenly change division to multiplication and flip fractions all over the place? So I'm going to try and explain to you why this works, um, just by using a little bit of an example. I'm going to start off with by making sure we understand what division is. So in our normal whole numbers, 20 divided by 4 means how many groups of 4 are there in 20? And that's really easy, right? There are 5 groups of 4 in 20. So the meaning of division in fractions is the same. If we've got 2 divided by a third, we're asking ourselves how many thirds are there in 2? So how many thirds are there in 2? Well, let's draw a picture to see that. We've got two holes here, and I want to know how many thirds there are in the two holes. Well, let me cut these holes up into thirds then so I can see. And you should know very well by now, in each of the holes, there are three thirds. And so in two holes, there will be two times three third pieces. And there you can see why two divided by one third gives you two times three over one.